was today's place? Uh, something called Port Vondreux. Just there. Okay, that's that, it. That, that harbour there. Okay, that's it, yeah? Yeah. little wind but I think it's going to fill in in a few hours time we're gonna get some uh, about 20 knots apparently what, what is this <laughs> yeah so we're going to um, get around the Cape as soon as possible which should be the next hour or so two hours, two hours Nick says and then we uh, will have some protection from the wind that's coming. rather lovely. As predicted the wind is starting to pick up a little bit. We've got about 12 knots from behind, true wind. And uh, yeah we've got the main and the jib up and just cruising along nicely. We've got about seven miles until we get to the French border. So um, yes yeah, so we're both very excited about that. I think that we've been in Spain since last August or at least the boat has and um, yeah we've been a lot of time in Spain it has been amazing we have really enjoyed ourselves particularly this year I think for whatever reason this season has been incredible we've had we've visited so many cool places Barcelona Tarragona you know we started off in Valencia which was awesome and the coastline up north up where we are now the Costa Brava is really beautiful it's far more interesting than um, the coastline a bit further south so uh, the scenery is a bit more impressive as well and in fact I can see the Pyrenees right now so that there you go I can see snow-capped mountains on my own boat I never thought that that would happen but yeah apparently when you're in this part of the world you can see the Pyrenees I did not know that but yes a beautiful day we are a few hours away from our port for the weekend and just enjoying a really beautiful downwind sail. Perfect. Spine France, spine France. Okay. What happened? We crossed the border, we crossed an international border. Change of culture, change of language, change of cuisine. And uh, yeah, it's, um, and kind of a change of scenery because it's nice. Well, we've kind of like skirted the kind of the Pyrenees over there, and we could see snow on the mountains this morning. Yeah, so and now yeah. it's a lot greener. We're in France now. We are in France. La Belle France. La Belle France. Still think about how we met Yeah, I'm 
is a beautiful afternoon. I'm going to clean the boat up and then we're going to go out and enjoy the afternoon, enjoy the sunshine because tomorrow, unfortunately, the weather closes in. Yes, this is May in the Mediterranean, but no, it's not always sunny. And uh, we're going to have some rain and some cloud and cooler weather for the next few days. So we are stuck here, but it looks like the perfect place to be stuck and words cannot describe how excited I am that we are back in France on our own boat. It has been six years since we were last in France on our own boat and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just so happy about it. So this is the next chapter. This is, we're going to be in France for the next, probably the next two or three months and I think that you guys are just going to well, I hope that you guys are going to love it as much as we do because we are so excited to be here. France is one of our favourite countries. We just love France so much. To do the canals is going to be amazing. Something different and something exciting and something challenging. I think it's going to be really cool for you guys to watch us do that. And on the other side we've got the Atlantic Coast which is, I think, to date my favourite cruising ground of all time. And you guys have never seen it, so not on YouTube, not on our channel. So. I think it's, uh, yeah, this is a new chapter and I'm pumped. Morning, everybody. Good morning. We are in France. Well, we've been in France for three days. We have, except it's been raining, so we haven't really been doing much apart from just sitting aside and working. But today the sun has come out and we are going on a little excursion, aren't we? Yes. The sun's golden rays are hitting my face, which means that... Oh, it feels so good. I know. Like three days of sat in like a couple of like Hermits. damp rabbits. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Um, no, we are going to uh, a small little village on just on the other bay, on the next bay, the bay next door, around the corner. Uh, it's about a 45 minute hike. Hopefully not particularly strenuous hike. And... Um, yeah, apparently it's meant to be a very picturesque little touristy seaside village. So we're going to go and check it out. And we are also going to show you a little bit of Port Vendre on the way, because that is where we are right now. Yes. And it is lovely, isn't it, Nick? The quintessential French fishing village. Yeah. Well, I thought it would be a hike actually turn into like just a nice gentle walk along a footpath. <laughs> it was still lovely. And here we are in uh, Collioure and I've just seen that there's a boat at anchor here which um, I did not realise that that was a possibility. It looks absolutely lovely. Perfect place to drop the hook. Alas, we are tied up in a marina at the moment. But let's go and see what this place has to offer. But this might be a no show, a tower of a no go. You are us on the waves. Notorious leader. Disarm me with your smile. Say your song. Well, this is pretty. <laughs> Very pretty. This is superbly pretty. So this is the village of the town of Collier. Col yeah, Collier. Collier. It is ridiculously picturesque. I said to Therese before, if you were to build a diorama of a French fishing village, this is what you'd build. There's a castle, there's a windmill, there's all these amazing buildings on, on the kind of, on, on the hills. And it yeah. kind of goes into this really picturesque bay with kind of sunlight glinting off the, the waters that it gently ripples against fishing boats and, and little sailing skiffs. How very poetic of you. Yeah, I need to lie down. <laughs> <laughs> that was exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> That's me done for the day. Where's my beer? <laughs> Uh, it, it's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Um, all I would say is that you know, what we have said, and we're not bitching about oh. this, that okay. literally um, we have gone 
we're 10 miles um, across the French border between Spain and France. Mm. The, the prices have doubled. Yeah, so we just had a coffee and it was four euros each for a coffee. And yes, we're in a touristy spot and we we're right on the beachfront. We knew that we we're going to be paying premium prices. But it's double the price of the middle of Barcelona. E yeah, is it? Yeah. How much is a coffee in Barcelona? Two euros. Really? Yeah. Jesus. So yes, it is It is pretty bloody amazing. Yes. Pretty amazing. So okay, we're going to so take a little walk around. Yeah. And then... Uh, Maybe you can buy me lunch in this very expensive little touristy village. I think after your carafe of wine last night and all that leeriness that accompanied the after dinner mentality, I think you'll be having a baguette on the way home. You wouldn't do that to me. No, I would. <laughs> when we thought the Collier couldn't get any more charming we've come across the Sunday market <laughs> delightful and the sardine shops yeah. I sardine. love those sardines they sell yeah. tin sardines so you just they're so amazing. pretty aren't they yeah only the French could make tin sardines look pretty wow <laughs> Finally going to be time to take the mast off the boat. Yes, I'm feeling a bit nervous. Nick seems relatively sanguine, which is reassuring. What, what? That was fun and stressful and we're on the Canal du Midi. It's spectacular. It's absolutely amazing. I'm just in awe right now. This place is stunning. Jesus, that was unlike anything else I've ever done. I don't think many sailboats get to sail through a vineyard. Today we are doing quite a few double and even triple locks. This is one of the best things we've ever done. It is a grey and damp day on the Canal du Midi. Would you like to say something Nick? Because you seem to be feeling left out. I'm cold. I am cold. I am hot. It is hot. We've established that it's 39 degrees in the shade. It is apparently 49 degrees in the sun. <laughs> Sorry. Here we are in the centre of Toulouse. Which is a bit mental, isn't it? Yeah, it is absolutely mental. How'd you like that? That was pretty intense. It's <laughs> was not it? It's one of those things I don't think we'll do often in a boat. No. 